Hi guys, I'm going to take you along with me on my trip to Orlando, Florida, where I'm going to be going to Premier Orlando with Danger Jones. I am going to be teaching one of my favorite techniques there, but before we go to the hair show, I did end up going to Epcot because I had to while being in Florida. How could I not go to one of the Disney World parks? So I was super excited to go to Epcot with a bunch of girls, and we had such a blast out there. We definitely drink around the world and rode a bunch of rides and it was just so nice to see so many like familiar faces and also just meet a bunch of new people before the hair show. So I was super excited that I was even invited to teach this weekend with Danger Jones. Here's what the booth looked like. It was a two-story booth. You could go upstairs and check out like the fashion that they had but also downstairs we had where you could buy product and then also just a mini stage where people could teach and then this was the area where you would do model prep and each brand that was there had their own section that was like curtained off here um, and this is where we basically prepped all of our models and did all of our coloring and all that so this was our little private room and it was just so nice to see all the colors out ready for us to use they supplied all of the color which was really nice and then this is what the inside of the convention looked like it definitely got a lot more packed throughout the day this was in the morning right at like 9 a.m So this was day one of the hair show and on day one we just had models that we were going to be teaching at the booth. The booth had like a very small stage and we were going to be mic'd up so that we could teach whatever technique we wanted to teach. Um, this was my first model for day one. She already came blonde and prepped so I didn't have to do any pre-lightening or anything like that. So all I did was section her out so that I could do my color placement and the color placement that, that I was going to be doing for her was going to be like a rainbow type of color in the front and then in the back I'm going to be doing a color mount for the rest. So here is me teaching on stage for the very first time. I will admit I was very scared at first because you know just teaching in front of a large crowd um, can be scary at times just like public speaking in general is just not something that I was super used to or comfortable with but I feel like I got a lot of my nervousness out on the first day so that I was really ready for the second day but here is what my model looked like after we were done she loved her color and I was just so obsessed with the placement and how everything just like turned out and came together um, I basically just used a lot of the Danger Jones semi-permanent color neons and just diluted it with clear so that purple on the top is going to be Hysteria with Clear. And then the pink is going to be Lovesick with Clear. The orange is Hotwire with Clear. The yellow is Raygun with Clear. The green that I used is Adrenaline with Clear. And then the blue that I used is Vertigo with clear and a little bit of Exotica to help cancel out the yellow that was in her hair since we didn't pre-tone her. So today I'm here at Premier Orlando. This is day two. I am here with Danger Jones and I'm going to be teaching at the booth one of my favorite underlining techniques and then finishing off my model on main stage later in the afternoon and I'm so excited to be here with them. Yesterday was super crazy so I didn't get to film too much and I was really overwhelmed because it's my first time here but today I'm feeling a lot better and I'm ready for main stage and I can't wait to show you what it is like to prep and all that behind scenes and model prep and I'll take you with me. So this is the calm before the storm. I had to be here by 7 a.m. for model prep. We're going to go to the main stage area and get familiar with the stage before we go on later today.
So here's us just having rehearsals before main stage, just a quick show of what order we were going in and when to go. And then here was my model for main stage and at booth. I already pre-sectioned his hair and I was just getting it ready because I was gonna be on first. So here's Casey miking me up for the booth little stage. And this is me just going over the technique a little bit and sharing some tips on how I like to approach my underlights. I feel like since this was day two, I wasn't nervous at all. I don't know. I felt like for day one, I was so, so nervous and I had like so many butterflies and I don't know. I was just like overstressing on the first day, but I feel like I got all of that nervousness out on the first day. So by the second day, I just felt really calm and comfortable, which was really good because second day was going to be the big day where we were on stage and at the booth, I was basically just going over the fundamentals of like what I was going to be teaching on stage but just in a little bit more in-depth way because I had about an hour to really talk about my technique opposed to where on stage I would have just had like 12 minutes so so in a way it was kind of nice to kind of go over the information that I was going to be teaching on stage at the booth because I was practically going to be teaching the very same technique on stage just in a shorter version but I did love teaching at the booth as well it wasn't as crowded as day one because I feel like day one everyone kind of came in and um, just did all their shopping and all their classes that they wanted to do and then I feel like day two was just more chill. I feel like people came a little bit later, which is totally fine. And um, just was overall just a lot more calmer atmosphere and vibe this day. So here's us having a little pep talk before we walk over to main stage. And this is us walking our models over all the way from model prep. And then this is the sign before you walk into main stage to see this set times of everybody performing and teaching so here's everyone backstage right before we go on to introduce ourselves and begin the first segment of our performance so the first part of our show they had us in groups of three and we were to collab on one model all together and do some sort of styling in my group, I had Hair Princess Steph and Hair Hardcore with me, and we did a collab to do like a soft curl glam look, and there is our model like in the middle. So what this consisted of was we prepped our model, and then we each did a portion of the styling. So one person did one side, and the other person did another side, and then the last person pretty much just did the finishing touches and just finished off the model for the rest. She's a young stylist. She's achieved a lot already in her career and I'm really excited for her to come up here and share some amazing lightning stuff with all of you. Lauren, come on up. So I ended up sharing my favorite underlining technique and then with that I shared a little bit about myself and how I got into hair and then I also shared a little bit of a story of why I started my YouTube channel and how it inspires me behind the chair like every day and it was just such a good time. I feel like as my first time like performing on stage I had such a blast and i didn't even feel nervous at all at this point i feel like i got everything out the day before um, because i was like stressing so hard for no reason but yeah by this day i was just very calm and just so happy to be there and just felt really lucky and blessed that i even had this opportunity to share and my story and be up there any more thoughts before we 
move I think, on? I think that's it. I am just so happy to be here with you guys today. This is my first main stage ever, and I feel really lucky that you guys all came out here to support me. Thank you guys so much for today, and I'll catch you guys next time. All right, let's hear it for Lauren, everybody. So by the end of the show, we had all the models come out and then all of the artists came out as well to say a last goodbye and thank you for everyone for being there. And honestly, I just want to say thank you to everyone who came out and supported and the whole Danger Jones um, community. I feel like this was just such an awesome like first experience and I definitely just cannot wait for the next one. So here's what my model's hair looked like after the whole show. I was super happy with the way that this came out. I ended up toning him with Pavement and Exotica and I just applied it straight on wet hair and just made sure that I really saturated and it created such a beautiful like gray lavender silver. Well, that is it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. And as always, I will talk to you guys next week.